Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. If you like my YouTube rock and roll videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please hit that like button and feel free to comment down below. You can also contact me directly via mobile phone or email with my contact information being in the video description. In today's rock around video, I want to present you this spectacular 2022 Porsche 911 GT3 Touring. This vehicle just arrived at our dealership, it's part of our pre-owned inventory. So in today's rock around video, we'd like to highlight the build specifications of this car, as it is a very special 911 GT3 Touring. Please contact me directly via mobile phone or email if this specific Porsche is of your interest. So of course we're going to start with the exterior details. This one very special as it is a paint to sample 911 GT3 Touring. Very few of them were produced as paint to sample. The specific car finished in dark sea blue and a non-metallic color. Very classic beautiful dark blue color especially against the color of the wheels and later on you'll see a very beautiful special interior. Being the latest generation 911 GT3 Touring, still powered by a 4 liter flat 6 naturally aspirated engine producing just over 500 horsepower. This one with the iconic 6 speed manual transmission and a red line of 9000 rpm. Being the Touring version of the 911 GT3 we see that the front fascia, the middle section intake system has been painted also in exterior color while the GT3 without, oh sorry, with the rear, uh, rear wing is the middle section intake system not painted by Porsche. Also the new nostril system of course, the previous generation GT3 Touring produces 2018 and 2019 had the um, air outlet system placed in the front bumper with the new placement of the radiator being deeper inside of the intake system Porsche had to relocate there for the nostril system to the hood also very special is that the hood is now made out of carbon fiber while the previous generation car the hood was still made out of aluminum we can also see the LED headlights are standard on the latest generation 992 911 the center locking wheels also standard for the GT3, 20 inches in the front, 21 inches in the back. The rear wheels also fitted with the rear axle steering system as standard. Now specifically on this car, the center locking wheels painted by Porsche in satin platinum, the dark gray satin finish on the center locking wheels looking spectacular against the dark, dark sea blue. This one also equipped with the optional PCCB, the Porsche carbon composite brake system, the larger diameter rotors made out of carbon ceramic, and also the caliper, in this case painted by Porsche exclusive manufacturer in high gloss black, while well, normally the calipers painted in yellow. Getting here to the side of the vehicle, you can see also the mirrors have been fitted by Porsche with the carbon fiber, and the lower element as you can see painted in the dark sea blue. More carbon fiber on the outside, where the roof is also carbon fiber replacing the standard aluminum roof. No sunroof available in the GT cars. Beautiful the weave against the dark sea blue metallic. Now this one is the GT3 Touring package in black. So you can see the window trim around the windows is finished in black. And we get here to the rear section of the vehicle. You can also see that the centrally located sport exhaust system, the tips once again finished in black. Again, I mentioned the rear axle steering system. We're also running now wider tires on the rear axle versus the previous generation Touring. And of course running also the sticky tires Cup tires, Michelin, a new generation Goodyear Eagle, again cup inspired, so very high grip levels. Rear wheel drive, again I mentioned just over 500 horsepower. The engine also now running the individual throttle bodies, just like the 911 Speedster of the 991 generation or the GT3 R race car that Porsche races around championships around the world. Significantly larger rear wing also on the latest generation GT3 Touring, about 25% larger as the previous generation car. Also the intake system here on the back, specifically developed by Porsche for the Touring. You can imagine the amount of air volume going inside of that 4 liter flat 6, especially hitting almost 9000 RPM. Another factory option in this specific vehicle, the exclusive design tail lights. So you can see the middle section of the LED tail lights finished in clear, going all the way across this iconic Porsche design, looking so nice. Specials with the Porsche letters being finished in black, and I mentioned earlier of course the exhaust tips finished in black. We can also see a much larger diffuser on the lower section of the latest generation Touring. Almost twice as large as the previous generation vehicles. Overall more downforce, although of course the Touring is less of a track specific setup versus the G3 with the wing. Okay, so we talked about most of the details on the outside. Let's have a look at the spectacular inside versus the paint to sample dark blue on the outside. The German name for dark suit, dark see blue it would be mere blau for the um, outside you can see this one has the beautiful exclusive manufacture interior an option we did not offer on the 991 generation 
GT3 touring models. You can see black leather applied on the top of the dashboard with a deviated stitch and chalk. The chalk also continues with a full 18-way Sports Heats Plus finished in chalk. What a beautiful combination against the blue, the black accents, more carbon fiber you can see also fitted on the steering wheel, which of course is the sports steering wheel. I mentioned of course earlier the six-speed manual short shifter transmission, specifically six-speed, while the Carrera models of course are running a seven-speed. With this four-liter flat six, the motorsport derived flat six four-liter is only suitable to run the short shifter six-speed manual. More carbon fiber also on the inside with the LED illuminated side sill. Also carbon fiber applied on the top of the dashboard, the trim piece going all the way across and also in the door panels here on the side. We also see the Bose surround sound speakers, the optional fire extinguisher on the passenger side. You can see also the exclusive manufacturer embossing there in the center armrest indicating the luxury level and the beautiful fin and finish of all this leather. This one also has the Racetex headliner as the factory option. Wow, what a spectacular vehicle. Mileage just under 1,000 miles on this specific example. So beautiful low mileage car, paint to sample, stick shift. Meerblau, dark sea blue with the black chalk interior. Beautiful specification. Once again, my name is Alexander, Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach. Keep sharing the Porsche passion. Please contact me directly via mobile phone or email if this specific Porsche is of your interest. We'll do a final walk around here. Vehicle is also equipped with a paint protection film on the front. So with less than 1,000 miles, of course, in exceptional condition. Thanks so much once again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.